So in the previous video, we talked about the fact that if we really wanted to complete this song, given what we know right now, it would seem like what we're going to have to do is to take these blocks of code that are both in the food and the, uh, the, the cat sprite and repeat these blocks of code seven times, right? So the, the idea sort of here in, uh, in the cat sprite would be that we want to uh, seven times sing about the food, right? And with the food itself, uh, seven times we want to, you know, ch change to a costume and, and sing it. And so we want to do something like, like this, right? Seven times we want to switch to the costume and show the green beans. Now, actually, it, this is pretty easy to fix with the food sprite. With just a little bit of rearranging of this, we can actually make the food work all right. If you notice that in my costumes, I have three co or my seven costumes, one right after the other, in the right order. And by the way, if you if you load costumes and you want them in a different order, you can just simply grab them and and move them around, right? So you can get them in the order that we want. The order, correct order though is green beans, spaghetti, soup, roast beef, and so on. And so what I can actually do, I can fairly easily make this program cycle. What I actually want to do is to start by switching to green beans. And then seven times I want to show the food, you know, hide the food, show the food, hide the food again. And then I want to go to simply the next uh, costume. So next costume is an option in here. Right? And so this actually right now will sing the song OK with the food. Uh, this won't look completely good right now because we're only going to sing about Monday by the cat, but it says today is Monday, today is Monday, Monday is string beans, all you hungry children come and eat it up. And then we move on to spaghetti and well right now it's singing about Monday again, right? Today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday is string beans. So, so this, the, the cat isn't right, but we, but we went to spaghetti. And now we're going to go to soup. And so there's my soup. And we can move on to roast beef. And again, the lyrics are all wrong with the cat. I know that. But, but we're cycling through the seven foods without too much difficulty here. So that part we could get OK. The real challenge is how do we fix this problem with the cat, right? How do we move this around? Well, the problem is I, I don't want to really say today is Monday, today is Monday, Monday is string beans. I want to instead have a loop that says today is, and I want to be able to fill in the blank. And so if you think about that, that's a little bit like what we were doing back with uh, when we were when we were doing the customized stories and we were asking about Jack and Jill or Ben and Jill or Amy and Jill, right? We want to say today is, and we want to put a value in there, a variable that tells us what day of the week does it happen to be. And so, well, we can sort of motivate that by saying, okay, let's make those variables. I, I need a day variable and I need a food variable. I'm going to turn both of those off. I don't need to see them here on the screen for me. And, and what I really want to be able to do is to say, you know, today is Monday. And I use that twice. So I'm going to duplicate it right now. Right? Today is Monday. Today is Monday. And in fact, let's start this by setting the day to Monday, and we want to set the food to string beans. And so we're going to sing today is Monday, today is Monday. We want to sing Monday is string beans. So Monday is, now we have to get string beans added in, so we need another join. We'll put this join first. Monday is food. There we go. So by using two joins, we can get Monday is green beans. And if I run this now, we're getting closer. Oops, today is Monday. I, I need a space to go in there. Fix that while it's still running even. Remember, we can do that. We can adjust this even while it's running. 
And so uh, it turns out I didn't actually fix this yet, but we're getting closer to the solution. I'm still going to, I still have day and food staying as mundane string beans. So I need to have a way to sort of go through uh, a list of all of the days of the week and all of the foods. Uh, and that's going to, this will be a good time to break and go to a, the next video. And we'll explain how to use a list to do that in the next video.